Hi everyone, this is Imran Amu and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video training, I will just customize this uh, default WordPress dashboard login page. Okay, I will just use a plugin uh, to customize it. And before I start, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And uh, in this channel, you can see I upload WordPress website design and development related videos. And just consider to subscribe. Okay, let's see how to start and let's start here just the default login page i'm just going to hit login page i have already used the username and password and just hit login and here goes the dashboard and i hope you could also access the dashboard of your wordpress website and from the plugins i'm just going to click on add new and here i'll search for custom login and i will use this plugin custom login page customizer okay just hit install now and hit activate here goes it the plugin has been installed and activated and you can see our menu has been added on the left so go to the settings and you can set the session expire time and custom password field okay and login order um, you can use both username email address or you can set on the username or only email address i prefer both username or email address okay and reset default styling okay the remove setting on uninstall that's good and hit save changes and now click on this customizer link here it is and now you can see the default login page and what i'm going to do i'm just going to click on this login press section and it will open up all the customization options the first one is theme and the default one is this others are good for the pro version and get back okay and let's see how to customize the logo just click on it and here you can see you can add any custom image okay just select image and upload image file and select file source image and here you can see the custom login has been changed now you can manage the logo height and width okay and you can put the logo url here or logo hover title theme code okay if you are done just hit this publish button and you can just get back just click here now we are going to work with this background section just click on it and here goes some free background If you are not happy with this free background just you can use your own background just select hit on the select image and upload files select files and i'm just going to use my default images here it is choose image and here goes it okay Now you can make it repeat X, repeat Y, just background repetition. Just click on no repetition and select position, the image background position center or left top or left center. According to your background image, you will just go through these options. I just prefer center. Okay, and background image size, it should be covered or content but most cases cover source better okay so i think it's all about the background image alternatively you can use background color instead of background image just turn it off and select any background color or whatever any background color 
but I like background images so just enable it from here just get back now customize login form you can customize the login form okay you can also use image for this part okay uh, enable form transparency okay you can see it has been transparent now but I don't like it I just like it to be I just like to make it white okay or you or if you want you can use an image just say for example this image I'm just going to show you how it looks okay so um, I think the image doesn't look cool just hit remove okay and form width you can maximize the form width okay to 400 pixel it should be 400 okay and height should be 300 or something you can just increase the border radius okay and shadow and padding and input fields color you can change the input fields color to this and input text color should be black okay and input text field width you can make it 100% or you can make it just according to your preference so input field level color this this text color i just want to make it black or you can just customize it to different color or make it blue any color whatever i just kept it black and remember me label color here it is and you can make it different just use this color or this color blue whatever so that's it i'm just going to hit publish and get back and you can also customize forget form you can use background image for that or you can use background color for that okay and recapture is in the pro version okay and button beautify is the default button style i'm just going to style the color of the button and here goes the button color and i just want to make it like that okay and hover color what border color or just here it is and on hover button color on hover a bit gray okay now button box shadow color a bit gray button text color red black white white looks cool button size 100 percent or you can make it 60 percent 70 percent whatever button top padding bottom padding button border areas okay and shadow opacity text size you can make the text size to 20 pixel okay it should be 20 pixel okay so 
that's all for this section button beautify hit publish and get back now you can change the error messages invalid username invalid password you can customize the messages okay and get back again welcome messages you can customize the welcome messages also message field background color you can change the message field background color or form footer okay here goes the form footer lost password okay you can change the text lost have you lost password hit publish and select text decoration overline or none put a text color black or red or something like and put a text hover color text font size eighteen footer background color okay but I think white should be cool and back back to side text you can just enable or disable back to side text but it should be enabled okay text decoration none and text color black or any color green font size you can change the background color but white should be good and on the bottom here you will see the copyright note okay enable copyright note or if you want you can disable it okay just it's up to you and hit publish get back now google font is available in the premium feature is available in the premium version so and you can apply any custom series so that's all i hope you could come to this point and you could just customize the default login okay thank you for watching if this video helped you please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching